Welcome back to Red Glasses Talks. The title today is Be Priority Driven. The basic scripture we're looking at to get these four priorities, and there will be four of them. We're going to look at three today. The third priority, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. This is the first and great commandment. The second is like unto it, love your neighbor as you love yourself. And so we've said that there's a personal commitment to Jesus, priority one, a personal commitment to loving yourself, seeing yourself the way he sees you, and taking care of yourself, and looking now at a personal progressive commitment to other followers of Jesus Christ. So um, this is really an important one, because he's saying your number one neighbor, love your neighbor as you love yourself, love everybody, but there's a priority within that, love your neighbor, love other believers have right relationships with other believers. This is very important. And so, some churches have membership. In other words, they, when uh, you go to their church, they're going to communicate to you some push. They want you to become a member. That's just how they function. Some churches don't have membership. They're just as biblical and Christ-centered as the others, but that's the way they've chosen to go. And I think both of those approaches have validity. So, um, uh, what is a typical ch church composed of? Well, first of all, in a church on any Sunday morning, you have visitors. Now, some of these visitors have made visiting a lifelong deal. They're lifelong visitors. That's not good. But what's a, what are some of the characteristics of a typical visitor? A fear commitment. Lack understanding of what it means to be a disciple of Jesus Christ. Lack understanding of the biblical necessity to be a responsible member of a local church. They get a lot. They give a little. I call them Freddie and Frida Freeloader. Now, what does a typical member look like? Joins but not committed. Not regular worship. Gives, maybe. Picky and critical, no personal growth, a fence sitter, there's a lot of church work, maybe, very little spiritual impact and reproduction on the lives of other people that don't know Christ. Now, let me suggest to you what a responsible member, functioning member of a local church might look like. Committed to a personal growth plan in Jesus Christ. They got a plan and they're committed to it. Committed to a consistent worship. Commits, commitment to a personal intake of the Bible and Bible teaching and doing what it says. A commitment to a small band of other believers, some three or four ladies, three or four men, three or four couples, to meet together on a consistent basis to encourage one another, to grow together and to serve Christ. A commitment to people in the local church at large. Uh, a commitment to discover and develop and use your spiritual gifts. The Bible says everyone, every believer has at least one or more spiritual gifts. A commitment to being a growing, reproducing disciple of Jesus Christ, impacting others that don't know him. A commitment to being a faithful steward of your finances. A commitment to the philosophy that says, I want to find a need with other believers and fill it as best as I can. So here's the question as we close. Are you just a visitor? How long have you been visiting a church? Why are you staying a visitor and not really settling into that church? Um, are you just a typical member? Or are you a fully functioning member of a local body in, in your town or wherever you are? Folks, this is big, big stuff. So take time, think it through, and I hope you'll end up saying and being able to say, I am a fully functioning member of the body of Christ, the family of God.